the God that I serve is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you want to move in this place. But some of you is holding on to the wrong spirit. It's not God. I'm telling you, some of you are holding on to the wrong spirit. But when you let go and let God, he'll move. In your life. Hallelujah. I'm going to praise God for just looking at Mother Bertha. Looking at what Mother Klein. Come in and go. When the devil said no, God said yes. I said, God said yes. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God said yes. Hallelujah to God this morning. He's a good God. He's a good God. Shake it off. Let it go. Because God wants to move this morning. This is God's house. He never got to God in the glory. Hallelujah. I'm not worried about how the enemy tried to attack me all week. I'm just worried about right now. What God is doing in this hour. I ain't worried about yesterday. I ain't worried about Thursday. What God is doing right now. Look at your neighbor and tell him, God is moving right now. He's moving right now. And he's moving in me. Let it move in your sight. Let it move. Get loose in Jesus. Somebody needs to get loose. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I bless him. I tell you, God does food this week. Somebody's been blessed. Been done mansion. And that's why you come in here this morning to give them the praise. You shouldn't be coming in here with your head down. You should be coming in here with your head up. Because you're on the wake up list today. Ain't none of us been so good that we deserve to be here. But God's mercy. And his grace lets you see another day. That's why you ought to praise him. You ought to stir your own self up. Yeah, Jesus said, stir the Holy Ghost up here. Isn't that right? Stir it. Stir it. Stir it so until your neighbor catch on fire. Hallelujah. I wish somebody here would just catch on fire in the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost burn in you. Glory be to God. Thank you when you think and you think and you think again of what God has done. You ought to stir something in you.
own water cloak yes. in one mind, yes. in one spirit. Yes. Let move yourself out of the way. Yes. Let God have his way. Yes. Glory be to God. And that vision that God showed me about Mother Klein, oh, it's going to come to pass. Yes. Oh, yes. Because it's her heart's desire. Yes. And God said, I'll give you a heart's desire. Yes. It's her heart's desire. Some of us, we got two good legs. Yes. We in our right man. We got good health. You got good health. And you still won't praise God. Would you mean to praise God? And these, these mothers here, they're wanting to get up and run away out of the building. They're wanting to stand up and shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. So that's why you ought to be doing it for them. There's a whole bunch of people wishing that they could be in the house of the Lord today. In it right? Some are laying in the nursing home. Yes. Some are laying in the hospital. Yes. And some are even laying on the coast. Yes. But God touched you. Yes. I said he touched you. Yes. With his finger of love. Yes. Let your eyes open up this morning. Yes. And when you got up, you were still yet clothing in your right mind. Yes. That right there is enough. Yes. So many people going crazy. Losing their minds. Glory be to God. But you need your right mind. Amen. Amen. Another blessing. Another blessing. Hallelujah. That God, God done gave you. That none of us deserved. Hallelujah. We didn't deserve it. Oh, we ain't been so good. Uh, don't act like you've been all of that in a bag of chips. No, you ain't. Amen. It's His grace and mercy. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. I'm just happy. Amen. Glory. I made my mind up a long time ago when I was nothing but a teenager that I ain't gonna let nothing and nobody separate me from the love of God. Hallelujah. I always said this. I told my family if I gotta walk alone, I'll walk alone. But I'm gonna see Jesus. Glory be to God. It don't matter what it takes. Amen. We can climb up the hill and fall back down. It can be down in the valley low, but I'm going to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see him for my sake. Yeah. I ain't nobody going to have to tell me about it. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. I'm going to see him for myself. Mother and father gone on. Brothers gone on. Babies gone on. But I'm going to see Jesus. Guess what? They cannot crown him Lord of oh Lord and King of Kings till I get home. Come on to you, kid. Hallelujah. It's going to happen one day. Amen. I'm not going to be long. Amen. Glory be to God. If you would have stayed with us, I wouldn't even have preached today. Amen. 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 If you would have just stayed with me, I wouldn't even have to preach. Because I told the Lord, Amen. I know God's got a higher calling on my life. I know that without a shadow of doubt. It seemed like it's been a hindrance. But God is going to move me out. Yes. I know he is. Yes. I know he is. And I told the Lord, I said, I'm ready. Right. I'm ready to do whatever it is that you call me to do. I don't care if it's out on the street corner. Amen. Because the Bible said the harvest is plenty. Yes. But the laborers are few. He said, pray for laborers to go out in the vineyard. It's a lot of people out there that needs to come in here. Yes. And the only way they're going to come out, come in here, we got to show them some love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it's not a one of us in here today that can look down on the man unless we pick him up. God don't want us to look down on him. He wants us to go in there and pick him up. Isn't that right? Glory be to God. And those of you that got your Bibles, I'm just going to say about 10 or 15 minutes of microwave sermon. I'd like to give all to God who's the head of my life to the pastor, to the to the uh, ministers of the gospel, deacons, mothers, and saints, all God's children this morning. <laughs> I thank God. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I tell you, it's, it's, I've had a battle my whole life. And, but guess what? God told me, he said, it's not your battle. Amen. It belongs to me. Yes. Every time it seems like the enemy knocks you out, Sarah, God, pick you right back up. Yes. 
got somebody, a songwriter, wrote a song, said, if you got a peak, go way down, Jackie. Oh, no, no, y'all didn't hear that. No, 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 y'all didn't. Y'all, now my ass is somewhere else. It's, it's, it's on where you're going to eat after. I said, God said, if I got a peak, way down, I'm able to pick you up. Hallelujah. David said, I was down in the pit, down in the muck of the mire, down in the pit, way down, could see no way out. So when I looked up toward hell, and I began to call on God, and he rescued me, picked me up, put my feet on a solid foundation. That's why David praised God. Because he knew in whom he trusted. God is a good God.
and he will deliver us from your hand, O oh, king. But if not, let it be known to you, O oh, king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. I want to talk about God's ability. He's able. God is able. Your do exceedingly. See, we quote that all the time. But do we believe that He is really able? He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. God's able to do it. The God that I serve is able. To do the impossible. See, Abraham and Sarah found out that God was able to do the impossible. At 90 years old, 100 years old, she brought forth a child. Because God is able to do the impossible. There's nothing impossible with God, saints. You might looking at, be looking at a, a situation that you feel like it's impossible. It's no hope. But I'm telling you, if you put your trust in Jesus, hallelujah, I don't care. Saints don't give the enemy no credit. God can do anything. Put your trust in God. Don't look at the situation. Just put your trust in God, and God will see you through. I'm telling you, some of you are going through sickness. Ain't nobody been no sicker than me. I want you to hear this. See, when, when you done done that, you can talk about it. A testimony is something that you done been tested with and God brought you through. And now I'm living today to tell you the story that God is able to heal your body. He's even able to heal your sin sick mind. That's the kind of God I serve. Hallelujah. The doctor has spoke many negative things over me. But you know what? You don't have to receive that report. It's not that you're being disrespectful. You don't even have to tell him that you don't receive it. But don't let your spirit man guard your heart. That's why you need to tell God, hide your word in my heart, God, so that I won't sin against you. Nothing negative is going to come in my heart. I got the love of God. Amen. And it's this. Nothing else should be in your heart but love. If you got anything else in your heart, if you got malice in your heart, if you got discord, you got gossip, you got any hatred in your heart, it ain't of God. God is here to deliver today. God is able to do just what he said he would do. But you know what? Let me tell you something about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. They were Hebrew boys. Glory down in slavery. Captured in Babylon. Hallelujah. They were from the noble family. Some say that they were friends even in the Bible. But some theologians just say they were cousins. I don't know what they were. But they was together on one accord. In that night. And the Bible said where two or three of us are touching and agreeing on one accord. God is in the midst. They was in a foreign land. Down in in Babylon, under a mean ruler. But guess what? They held on to what they believed in. Saints, if you don't stick to what you believe in, you won't fall for anything. You gotta believe something. And when you believe it, stick with it. I don't care what it looks like, stick with what you believe in. If you don't stick with your agenda, the devil will give you one. Isn't that right? He'll play tricks on your mind, Brother Rick. Amen. The mind is the battleground. Your mind is not safe. It's enemy against God. Your mind is not safe, saints. And when the devil brings you evil thought, the Bible said, cast it down and put it under your feet. You sitting around the devil playing with your mind, he'll put thoughts in your mind. He'll make you think you're a duck. You'll be quacking, quacking. Glory be to God. He'll make you think you're a dog. You'll be bark, barking. Glory be to God. You better believe God's word. We're living in a dark and evil day, saints. Some of y'all don't believe it, but you
you better catch on to the word of God. Yes. I'm telling you, that's the only thing that's going to hold us up in these last days is the word. You got to know it. Yes. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, you got to speak the word. Yes. Amen. I mean, when you're down to your very last, glory be to God, you got to tell God in you I trust. I put my trust in you. The old saint said, who's going to trust in the Lord? I'm going to trust in it till the day I die. I got sense enough to know that we ain't been put here to live forever. Amen. But we can live three score and ten. And by reason of strength, we can add to that. Pentecost, Shadrach, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they didn't, their custom was to pray three times a day. See, we didn't get accustomed. Huh? We only pray on Sunday mornings when we come on morning worship. And see, this is why God can't move. That's why Mother Clyde ain't got up out of that chair and ran around. See, because you ain't praying until you come in here. And a lot of you come in here on Sunday morning with the wrong spirit. God showed me some of y'all walking in here. You had the devil in you. other people. You should have been at Sunday school to hear the Sunday. Quit judging other people. Look at the man in the mirror. When you judge yourself first, see if you ain't right standing with God. Have you done everything right with God? This did, you, did, did, you, did you say something gossip about your neighbor this week? If you did, don't judge nobody else. Some of y'all, when y'all see me coming, you run the other way. Why? You don't want to speak to me. Oh, oh. Hey, that's not that's the wrong heart. That's the wrong spirit. So be careful what you say. Yes. And that it's time for us to come together as a body of Christ. So let me tell you this before I finish up with Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego and Daniel. God called this church. Did you hear what I'm saying? I know what God did. He spoke to me. And, and me and Reverend Lord, we got to, we had to have a conversation before we could start a church together. We had to talk about what we wanted God to do and what God was speaking to me and what God was speaking to him. We had to talk. We had to set a date, July the 4th, 1982. This is a spiritual oasis. That's why it is important you got to live right. Because people, God said, come here and drink from the fountain that will never run dry. It's a fountain here that people need to drink from. But if you're not living it, living water. And see, ever since we started this church, the enemy has tried to shut it down. Hear what I'm saying? But God said, if you keep your leadership in right standing with me, I will always do it in the house. I don't care what kind of devil you try to bring in here. Is in the house. I said, God is in the house. Greater is He that lives in me. Oh, come in here, somebody talk to me. You better get with me. Greater is He that lives in me. The Holy Ghost, the Holy One lives, than He that lives in the world, which is the devil. That's gonna fight the good fight of faith. What you gonna do? You gonna fight? Or you need to say it some more. It's time for us to fight. And the very example that we need to learn from is these Hebrew boys. They was in exile. So you free today. Come on here, talk to me. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me. You free. Ain't nobody telling you 
not to say amen. Amen. Renew your 
spring. He said, you man of weed like the eagle. Run and don't get wild and don't fight. I'm telling you, the devil is a liar. God gave me some strength today. Glory be to God. 
of God. Amen. And that was some Chaldeans. Uh-huh. Chaldeans. Uh -huh. Demons. Devils. That was watching. The boys. When they blew the trumpet. Everybody but Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach and Abednego bowed down. They said, we're not going to do it. I don't, I don't care if our lives is on the line. Say, so, you, know, you got to get in God so deep, so close, that nobody and nothing can stir you from God. But you know what? A lot of people that's in God, you can give them a little piece of change and they'll turn their back on God. But you got to get rooted and grounded. Oh, come on, come on. For the love of money is the root of it. God knows that you need it to pay your bills. But the love of it. It's when you will turn your back on. And many Christians are doing that today. Right. It's just not money. You can just love anything, sister. Yeah. You give anything more time than you give God. It's your God. It has become your God. Glory be to God. We got to be careful that things around us don't become our God. That God is God. Some of our children is our God. Oh, y'all got quiet on that. Some of our children has become our God. Glory be to God. They lead you around by, instead of you being a parent, they lead you around by your nose. They tell you what to do. In that way. Glory be to God. So when the child went and reported to King Nebuchadnezzar that the boys didn't bow down, the Bible said his spirit burned in him, didn't it? The king was mad because he's the king. He could have your head. And then all he has to do is, is make the armor, make the charge. And guess what? The swordsman is going to come after you. Isn't that right? And he told the boys. He called them. Because God had given them favor with the king. He, he loved the boys. He loved them. Because Daniel served in his palace. And he said, fellas, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them to play the music one more time. You know how it is. When Keita plays that music, we get to shake it. Oh, yeah, we do. Turn something on. And it's something about you. Even the little bitty children that can't walk, you stand them down and hold them, they get to
Amen. Amen. The king got mad her. There was such a such a power. He called the big men, the men of valor, the biggest men in the province. He said, heat the fire up. Glory be to God. Heat it up about seven times hotter than what it normally is. I'm going to teach these boys a lesson. I'm the king. I rule here. Hallelujah. And the, and the men of valor that were so big, they took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They did it so swiftly. The Bible said they did it so quickly that they didn't have. See, it was custom to take off your royal clothes when you was going to be burned to death. Hallelujah. You didn't get burned up in them expensive clothes and sandals and turbans. Hey, they throwed you in there with, with just a little garment on. But the king was so mad. He said, bound them just the way they are. They had on their clothes. They had on their robes. They had on their inner garments. They had their turbans on. They had on their sandals. And they bound them and throw, took them up. Hallelujah. And see, this, 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 this sister that they throw them down in, it's like an arm. A keel is what it was. And it was big enough for them to stand up in glory. Yeah. <laughs> 